have to get the cost down. To Tony next. Fernandez has yet to spend a single rupee on advertising AirAsia India, but the company manages to find mentions on the front pages of newspapers. However, all its marketing plans are focused on South India, since it begins operations from Chennai. AirAsia Group is known for its lowest unit cost across the world. So here also, this, its Indian unit, which is AirAsia India, would want to concentrate on low-cost strategies even in marketing. AirAsia faces stiff competition in the Indian market, especially from market leader Indigo, whose USP is on time performance and customer loyalty. Experts believe that AirAsia will need a lot more than just Tony Fernandez and his histronics to succeed in the Indian skies, where passenger traffic has been on the decline. From in-film branding to associating with music and football, the company is planning a number of promotional activities. It is targeting sports, music and cinema, which is largely you know, focused on South Indian uh, landscape. Where uh, AirAsia had already uh, done an in-film branding called Neram, which is a bilingual movie which is, uh, which is released both in Malayalam and Tamil. And we spoke to Tony Fernandez. Tony Fernandez uh, was telling us that he would be targeting more such South Indian movies to get uh, entrenched into the South Indian market, which is already dominated by Spice Jet, which is, the arc, which is going to be the arc rival of AirAsia India. AirAsia will be formally launching its operations by the year end. Let's see whether these tactics will help it connect with its target audience.